Carthage must be destroyed. I have not done a video for a while now. I've been very, very busy. But I ended up finishing these guys. These uh, heavy infantry for Lion Rampant 2.0. And uh, I was uh, sharing you guys the project before. And now the first uh, seven guys are done. So I'm going to zoom out a bit here. You can see I got a nice big uh, standard on the flagman back there. It's a bit... Uh, anachronistic I think I think uh, these kind of flags are maybe more a bit later on in the in the historical setting in Europe but I wanted to put a nice big flag on this very blue guy in the back so I think the banners would be a little more stiff and a bit more short in the Agincourt era but I just thought it looks you know from a distance it looks really cool so anyway just a quick little look at all these guys here this guy here this knight this man-at-arms here it's a knight he's not a man-at-arms but Properly, he is a named character. I think I did the coat of arms of Antoine de Crayon. You can, guys, I don't know how to pronounce the crayon. crayon. It's not like I'm saying crayon, like the, the little kid's writing. <laughs> he tends to crayon here. I don't know how to, you guys can correct it. But there's a uh, particular French family in the medieval era that's rather dominant, and they have diamond checkered red and yellow uh, backgrounds on their... Uh, on their coat of arms and their symbols and the like. And one of them I saw was Antoine. I think it's Antoine or is it Peter? I don't remember. Um, I think Antoine's the one that dies at Agincourt. Then his father's Peter the Great of France and he gets in all sorts of trouble with the king at the time. But in any case, this is a, uh, a design that most people that, uh, you know, if they know their history of uh, families and stuff, they probably recognize the checkers and the like. And the rest of the guys behind them, are just generic, you know, foot soldiers. They're not knights or anything. Um, and they're all meant to be expert infantrymen, expert heavy infantrymen, instead of the shield-bearing spearmen that Lion Rampant has. So they got an upgrade, they lose some defensive ability, and then they become basically better at fighting. And that's what I wanted to represent. Uh, this guy here, I did, I'm did. i gonna call it the Paris Colors for a lack of better terms. He's got a nice Kind of, I love this kettle hat on period, kind of like folds in the middle. So it kind of looks like a hat, plus it's not just, you know, this guy in the back here has what I call just like a rounded kettle hat. So it's just like, you know, a piece of metal rounded out. And then I gave him some fun colors as well, as you can see there. But then this guy, I just like it because it's got that kind of curve to it. That's really cool. This guy here... Uh, I think, I don't remember what they call them. Batars? I don't remember what they're called. He's a poor infantryman as described by the little booklet that comes with the Perry box set, the French infantryman. And I painted him, or tried to paint him, identical to what was represented in the book. He's got something like a yellowish green right hose piece and then the back has this uh, kind of uh, brownish red one. So I basically kind of followed the uh, what was right in the book and I think he turned out great. Um, I don't know how to pronounce this guy's weapon either, but uh, that big axe, is it? Tell me in the comments, is it Bardiche or Bardiche? I don't know. Bardiche sounds French, so let's go with that. You guys can correct me. But again, he just has some hose with some French, very typical French or Paris colors. I don't know where they're from. This guy I also painted from the book. There is a, I don't remember, I think it's one of the counts, but he has his per personal retinue and it said that they have green as their uniform. Now, uniforms don't really exist in this era, right? But I guess there was some typical kind of like, you know, standards, like, okay, this guy brings his guys and tries to dress them out in green and stuff. But you know, there's no rule, real uh, rules to uniforms and the like, so it doesn't quite apply. But this guy, just like uh, this guy in the front here, I also took him directly from the Perry booklet and tried to emulate the look um, with the green and the red ax and all that stuff. And then just the guy in the back here, he's very blue. He's from the French, uh, just the knights, the, what are they, the men, I don't know what they're called, the French foot knights. We'll call them French foot knights, I think that's what it is. Very basic, very blue, and he's got a cross on there. And you can see I basically emulated the uh, GMB Designs flag, and I put it right on him. So you can clearly tell he's the standard bearer for the uh, French forces on foot there. And on the back, he's also got a cross as well. Um, I didn't make the cross too, could have done better on the cross, but I think he's okay from a distance here. And I mean, you can notice the flag on him before the guy, I think. So yeah, that is what I finished with that project there. Uh, I haven't been filming for a while, so I'm probably gonna release 
a number of videos here on YouTube and just kind of like flash through some topics, talk about some other stuff as well. So thank you for watching this one. This is just my update on the Agincourt and uh, Lion Rampant stuff there. I need to finish this unit. I still have to do five more men to make it a full unit and I will slowly get there. But until then, thank you everyone for watching. See you next time. Carthage must be destroyed.